All right, sorry for the uh, lack of updates over the summer. Just busy doing stuff and didn't really have time to do much uh, video editing. I did record uh, doing stuff through the summer, but uh, just wasn't the time to do it. Getting in late every night, and then I also uh, changed jobs, so I kind of had that to deal with. But uh, anyways, uh, got an update on the Studebaker for you. We're still plugging away on it. Uh, this one we do some work on suspension parts. Everything we built in house on the suspension, as far as the ladder bars and the wishbone go. And, uh, anyways, take a look at that. We're currently working on the rear coilover bracket that welds to the frame. We're now at version 3, I think. Uh, we're now having to cut a little pie slice out of it. So it'll clear the kick down where the trunk is in the inner rear wheel well area. We did, we thought we had it all done with this right there. And you can see the pie slice we've had to take out of it. So it'll clear the trunk. We think we'll have enough clearance now. We're going to put a piece, of, weld a piece of metal in here and then uh, retry it and hope it fits. And then hope the other side will match up the same. All right, here's our final product for the coilover. We have the other one welded in place and forgot to record it, so we got this one recorded before we got it welded to the frame. Notched out right there and clear the trunk pan. So it's ready to go in right now. All right, there's where our coilover bracket uh, welded to the frame. See there where it was kind of cut out to clear the trunk floor. It's not as bad over here. But uh, over here, it's a lot closer, so uh, it's all been repaired. Ready to drop the coil over in, coil over come in, and then uh, bolt on here to our rear end with this uh, little bracket we bought here. Here we are milling the upper part of the ladder bar where it welds on to the lower bar, the angle of it. We're milling an 8 degree angle in it. It's probably a little excessive using the mill, but it actually works pretty good. So that's what we're doing right now. And then we'll weld them on next. We are in the process of getting the ladder bars set in the car. They are not welded yet. Got the angles cut out from the mill right there is where I was just cutting. Got the other side cut out. Going back, we'll still have to make the crossbars and some support braces, and then the pieces that weld on here in case that bolt breaks, or in case that heim joint breaks, the bolt will catch it. We've just finished welding up both ladder bars. This is the right side one. There's the left side one. Didn't come out too bad. I do a little bit of grinding on it, but grind down, smooth it up, and get them powder coated or chromed or something. They come out pretty good. Happy with the end result. Started grinding down the ladder bars yesterday. Today we are working on trying to get the steering kind of lined out, get the heim joint put in for a steering support. We're going to weld the. This will be sitting down around here. Rod end. Rod end. And then we're going to weld a tube on it with a rod end, and that'll screw into it and support it up. And that's what we're doing over here right now. Took a piece of tube. Milled a piece out of it, flat side, that will weld to the frame. And then this rod end here will fit in, we'll weld it in. And then uh, weld her to the chassis and she'll be ready to go. Red eye? Yeah. 
there were just pinholes all over the place. Okay, that should hold. We are in the very, very early stages of just laying up the roll cage, trying to figure out where things will go. This is the main hoop back here. Just have it kind of sitting in place. Uh, we'll clear our mounts down there by a little bit, but not a lot. And up here, we're thinking about bending this A pillar to where it comes on this side of the mount. So then we can weld everything, the main, all the main bars inside the car, and still get the body off with the frame and just keep the roll cage welded to the frame. And then we'll put in the front tubes and the dash bar after the rest of the car is done, as well as the down tubes back here. So that's where we're at. We'll see if it actually goes that way later on, but that's where we're at in the very, very early stages. We're currently working on the wishbone to keep the rear end centered in the car. Dad came up with this piece here. We'll weld it to the cross member right behind the transmission where the ladder bars mount. Put a heim joint in it, like so, and put this bolt through it. And then we'll run our wishbone, weld our wishbone slide joint on here, and then allow up and down movement the wishbone and then since it's parallel it will not allow any side movement so that's where we're at and we just installed the tubing bender dad bought at the Lawrence swap meet earlier this year so we'll be putting that to use for the wishbone we are working on the wishbone to keep the rear end located we have got the pieces bent we got tacked up front We've got a pattern laid out on the floor. We're in the process of fixing this so it cannot move. Weld that right there, there, and then we're getting ready to weld that after we get this whole thing parallel. So that's our next step. We had to redo our wishbone because it was too wide. We had it running right next to the ladder bars and in fact it was touching the ladder bars by an eighth of an inch so that was no good. So we ended up putting an inch worth of spacers back there, those are temporary. Space it out and then we cut a little bit off of this end here and so that gives us our parallel, a little less than parallel right there next to the ladder bar. It's very close to parallel though. And then we have our tube just laying there, it'll raise up center right there. Then it'll slide in and out there. We still got a that's temporary brace right there. We'll put diagonals running toward from the back to the middle there. And that'll strengthen it up. And then it should be pretty much done for the wishbone. This was the drawing that we had for the wishbone to locate the rear end in the car. It was off an inch on each side so we slightly modified it and here is the final product in the car just a little bit of sand and do and put the proper bolts in that has not been final welded yet but when the body comes off we'll finish welding it went ahead and got our safety straps welded on the ladder bars everything's looking real good it's pretty parallel down there I made up these spacers in the middle today. Slip joint there. It's over there. Anyways, that is where we're at for the night. Next step is to start in on the roll cage. All right, that's going to do it for this uh, quick little update. Uh, next time, I think we might get more into the roll cage. Uh, we'll see if our plans change all the time on this thing. Not sure what we're going to do from one day to the next on it. But uh, anyways, uh, next week, or I hope to have an update on the uh, S10. Did a couple little things to it over the summer. Didn't get a chance to drag race any car at all this year. So uh, I said I was just busy doing a bunch of other little piddly things. But anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, please like and subscribe.